the question I want to ask you all is, where's your life going? Where are you headed? And again, you don't have to answer this right now. But the reason why I want you to answer that question to yourself is because you actually don't know, right? I mean, we don't know. We can't predict the future. So the reason why I ask you that question is to get you to imagine or think about what you imagine or visualize where your life is going. Because that's really the only, that's the closest you have to somewhere concrete that your life is going, where you decide psychologically and, and with your imagination where it's going. And that comes down to what you visualize, what you see happening between now and where you're going. It, it really comes down to that. That's green. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I just made it green. <laughs> with this? No, with this. It's got some coloring in it too. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, I just thought I heard you say, "Oh, it's green," but then I'm like, "She's drinking no, green." That was, that was her. Also. Sorry, sorry. It, I, ha I have what I have what I have what they what 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 I call. I made this up. I I have what what I call um, M A D D. Now this isn't Mothers Against Drunk Drivers. This is Manageable Attention Deficit Disorder. That's what I call that. Um, I don't have ADHD necessarily the way it's 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 diagnosed or prescribed. Um, but I do have an attention deficit disorder, as we all do, but I have it to where it's manageable, meaning I'll get caught up and sidetracked with a squirrel, but then I'll catch myself and get back where I need to be, and sometimes I need y'all's help with that, and this is just one example of that. So anyway, you, you've seen it probably before, uh, eight lectures now, you've probably seen me go sideways on something and get distracted, but, and I know you've seen it multiple times, Cindy, last semester, so the more you're around me, the more you'll see that happen. But it's manageable because I don't get, you know, I can still be productive, somewhat. So before I got caught up with the green drink, I want you to think about where your life's going because the answer to that question will just come down to where you decide that it's going and where you visualize that it's going, where you've imagined that it's going. And you're going to see in this chapter, that's what's most important. Have you thought about where it's going and do you visualize your outcome and then how do we go from where we are to what we imagine? So you're going to take a lot of the skills you've already learned in the first seven chapters, you're going to apply those to your journey, but you also need to be able to think abstractly. You need to be able to imagine. You need to be able to create the outcome that you want. You need to be able to, to visualize where you want to go and what you'd like to have before you ever give yourself even a chance of ever having it. And some of you all haven't really done that. It's just day to day. You wake up. What do I have to do today? Let me get all that done today and I'll wake up tomorrow and you go through the same routine and deal with whatever falls on my plate. We've got to think bigger than that. We've got to think further down the road. You've got to visualize. You've got to expand <clears throat> the way you think about your life. And the name of this chapter is creating a meaningful vision because you know, as, as the good book says, without a vision, people perish, right? So that's just a metaphor or a kind of a, 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 a phrase to think about in terms of if you don't know where you're going or you don't have a vision to where, of where you're heading, you're already lost from the get-go. So we've got to create a meaningful vision and meaningful to who? You. you and that's all that matters, right? And, and I'm going to emphasize as I introduce this chapter that this is the most important part of the journey. This is the most important part of the vision, that it's meaningful. Some of you all have a vision right now of where you're going and it's not even your own vision and it doesn't matter to you and it might even suck. You have it, but it's not yours and it doesn't feel good. So we're going to talk about how do we create that because this is actually a really, really important piece and an important part of your future. 